Many categories limit the number of new sellers to ensure customers are able to buy with confidence. If you want to sell products in these categories, you're required to obtain approval from Amazon first. The selling requirements in these product categories reflect buyer concerns for quality, product branding, and consumer safety, among other considerations. The list of those categories changes from time to time. If you'd like to see the latest list, just do a quick search for approval in Seller Central Help and click on Categories and Products Requiring Approval. That'll get you to a quick overview of the process and a current list. You can click on each specific category for the specific selling requirements and to get started with the application process. While the particulars of getting approved can vary by category, there are some steps you can take to help set yourself up for a faster approval process. First off, you'll need to be registered with a professional selling plan, and your account will need to be in good standing. If you're a new seller, certain categories may also require that you have an existing, independent e-commerce website that can be reviewed. Next, you'll want to ensure your listings meet the Amazon bar for quality. Our series on detail pages in the buy box covers this in depth and lays out the five critical components to a high quality detail page. A descriptive title, inspiring product images, clear and concise bullet points, an imaginative product description, and a compelling price. The importance of having a compliant and high quality product image cannot be overstated here. Images are extremely important to Amazon customers. They need to be clear, easy to understand, information rich, and attractively presented. Your main image is required to have a pure white background with RGB values of 255, 255, and 255. It needs to show the actual product, not a graphic or illustration. It should be at least 1,000 pixels in either height or width. Ensuring you meet these standards can help prevent delays in your approval as a seller. A quick search on image requirements will give you more on these image specifics. Most of the categories requiring approval also link to this page. Another requirement for certain categories is that your products have UPC codes. Using industry standard identifiers makes it easier for other sellers to make subsequent data contributions to product pages and helps ensure a high quality customer experience. Certain categories may grant exemptions for private label brands or brands for which Amazon verifies that no UPCs exist. If you'd like to get an overview of UPC requirements for various categories, do a quick search on UPC requirements in Seller Central and click the overview result for categories. If you manufacture your own products or represent your own brands, you may be eligible for the Amazon brand registry. The registry assigns a global catalog ID, or GCID, to each of your products as an alternative to a UPC or other standard product ID. See the Amazon brand registry help page for more information. One last thing you'll want to keep in mind no matter the category is that seller performance can often make or break your chances of selling in a certain category. The three main performance metrics usually considered by categories that require approval are order defect rate, pre-fulfillment cancel rate, and late shipment rate. These metrics may have to be kept under a certain percentage to be eligible for selling in some categories. And of course, it's never a bad idea to meet and exceed Amazon's performance targets. Refer back to our series on account health if you need a quick refresher on what each of these metrics is, along with the target numbers for positive seller performance. In addition to these basics, each category may have its own set of specific requirements you'll need to meet before you're approved to sell. Some of these may include data standards for product listing, product condition requirements, specific refund policies, regulatory requirements, preparation or packaging requirements, shelf life requirements, and plenty more. It really depends on the category. So, if you intend to sell in a category requiring approval, ensure you're up to speed on the basics above, as well as all the specific requirements for that category. Once you're approved, you'll be able to start listing. Mm -hmm.